What types of diagnoses are you Most finding? Most of the people that are, we are receiving from the East, uh, this is people already on the fourth, six, seven uh, weeks after the trauma. So usually it's already post-traumatic post stress disorder. Usually it's the people with PTSD. Some percentage is the people with the um, acute stress disorder, so up to the months. And today you have seen a few patients in this stage. And very rarely we are receiving the patient with the actually almost none with the uh, acute stress uh, reaction because uh, uh, we are a relatively safe city that we don't have a lot of uh, um, you know um, problem with the acute trauma five years ten years when this war is over hopefully mm -hmm. is ukraine in the grips of a mental health crisis because of what the people have had to endure we are not the first and the last country who uh, suffer from the war the history of human being is the history of wars, not the history of peace. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I think um, uh, we have to be, we must be prepared to this next few, few five, seven, ten years. And we have to provide services. Uh, and uh, we already have experience from our, from the 20th centuries, yeah. And especially we are consulting a lot with our. Uh, partners, yeah, from uh, uh, United USA, uh, Great Britain, uh, NATO um, uh, uh, psychiatrists and psychotherapists, psychologists, from our Israeli colleagues, and they already have a lot of uh, um, a lot of knowledge from the previous mistakes of Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, and they we are already have uh, their knowledge. We have to be prepared. That's why we are doing here in the hospital. We are developing the treatment, diagnostic and treatment model uh, uh, um, uh, for people with the combat trauma. We should also be uh, spend a lot of time uh, on the psychosocial communication with the people, with the relatives, um, uh, friends, uh, society. For example, in Lviv, we encourage the city to open a mental health centers in the in the small um, part of the cities, uh, that this this service can be uh, available and sustainable. Yeah, after the treatment here, they are moving to the community and they receive the. Can, they can, they may receive the help there. And this is the probably the most important thing, because trauma, especially severe trauma, has a function to isolate a human being. Yeah, the, the push the human being to avoid trauma, which is very very harmful. And our uh, our goal is to outreach that's why in the hospital we are not waiting that doctors would call us to the patient in the surgery or traumatology department we have a protocol to reach out and every monday we are reaching out them and today you 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 you, you witness how it's happening and some of them are very good we are not treating them I said hi hello just call us if you need us but some of them needs uh, help immediately actually some ukrainians feel very you know strong and proud and and don't want to admit that they might be suffering. Do you find it is, it, is there sometimes difficult to break down the wall for some of these soldiers or some of these civilians who are really suffering from mental trauma for them to say, no, I'm fine, I'm fine? It's, all, it's usually 100% times happen at the beginning. Uh, this is the resistance uh, to treatment. But this is the symptoms. We are, we are, we, it's not because of you are brave. It's the symptoms of, uh, of trauma, of, that you are denying um, uh, uh, help and you're denying the problem but it's a it's take a few days with the professionals that are the changing and people are getting open and much more healthier and when they can see it they are in the good um, cooperation they would like to do it next and moreover in few weeks they will bring their friends and say listen you must listen to them and help them to help you this is a very important thing and that's why trauma always isolate and push to avoid the, the problem. But this is not the, the case in our, our situation. We must teach people that you have to reach out mm. to those who need, or you sell, you have to reach out to those who can help you. Is it fair to say that everyone in Ukraine is suffering trauma on some level? Absolutely, absolutely, 100%. You already have a trauma to the, after today's day that you have seen all those people. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and Today, now, even now, when you are interviewing me, we are debriefing each other. We are repeating this story. We are rethinking them. We are uh, 
probably you have heard when I was talking to the, some very severely injured people said, listen, let's think about the future. Today you have to take care about your body, but you have to think about your future, what are you going to do tomorrow? And this is already a treatment, yeah, because you are pushing them to, to think about tomorrow.